Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Rochelle and I am the Brampton Gardener. I garden in Canada in Zone 5B. So today we are going to be talking about winter sowing. Stay tuned. So today we are going to be doing the obligatory winter sowing project. So I have a bunch of different containers because here in Canada we do not have milk jugs. So our milk comes in bags. So I have a nice collection of different containers, but basically anything that's got clear or frosted glass uh, plastic will work. You just don't want to use anything that's got like the solid white plastic that will not work. So what we're going to do is we are taking our potting mix, which unlike the other bag is not frozen. And I'm just going to Ooh, it's heavy. I'm just using some regular um, potting mix. I don't want to use anything that has the um, soil, the moisture retention. So I have a bag here of uh, Proven Winners potting mix. This year it's been a little hard to try and get our supplies. All right, so then what we do is we're just going to stick them in our containers. And then once I get my container full like this, I'm going to put it to the side. And I'm going to fill up all my containers and then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put in the seeds and the labels. Right now, the kid is uh, labeling my sticks and I'm going to decide which of my containers gets which flower. So I know I want a lot of alyssum and I might end up doing another container of alyssum. Um, as well last year I had it lying all the way down both sides of my pathway and I loved it it looked so nice so this year I'm hoping to get enough alyssum again to do that and honestly I should have counted how many um, how many it took but uh, there's not a ton of seeds in these packages but I did get these at the dollar store they were two for a dollar I think okay so I'm just gonna sprinkle them in here so it's definitely enough for one container you don't want to over sew either because you can't really get in here to thin it out and you don't want it to get too crowded so i will definitely need another jug of these at another time but we gotta we gotta start drinking more juice <laughs> okay so in goes the alyssum all right so it's gonna sit in here and we'll get all the seeds done and then we'll come back and i gotta water these in fan really okay so now we've got everything watered in and we just have to dry them off really really well because I want my tape to stick so if you had more time you could just kind of let them sit for a bit and let them dry but the sun is going to go down soon. Okay, so then once you do that, you close it, you take your lid off, throw that out. You do not need the lid, but I do need someone to help hold the tape while I spin it. So, come here, my assistant. So now we're going to wrap the jug. So hold it closed. Turn it to wind up. Do you still have those scissors? Okay. And now it's pretty. And now it's pretty. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Always use your scrapbooking scissors when gardening. Oh. So cut me a piece of tape that's going to just cover the words. And I'm going to write it on the jug as well. Done! Seven more to go! <laughs> So I did those the other day and then today we did the alyssum, snapdragons, lupins, agastache, bachelor's buttons, forget-me-not, I almost forgot, <laughs> kohlrabi, I mentioned that one and then the one in the middle, 
Lucifer. So we're gonna just go set them down now on the edge of the deck once the thing, and uh, Larkspur. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set them down next to my deck. That's it for now. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching.